How's it going everyone? Tyler here. Just gonna try out my capture device and see how well it looks and how it goes with my computer. Uh, I'm just gonna jump into a battle here. Just gonna be using the same team I've been using all week. Um, of Kangaskhan, Feeny, Zapdos, Landorus, Heatran, Cresselia. Uh, go ahead and change up the music. Let's go... Let's go Ultra Recon Squad. That one's... That one's not too bad. So we find our first opponent with a rating of 1556 from Germany. Um, what is Elaine? Okay, rocking a team of Volcarona, Tyranitar, Salamence, Amoongus, Excadrill, and Melodic. Okay, so we got Sand Mode. But he has the Melodic and Volcarona, which is a little different. And Melodic's annoying because of the competitive, especially since Landris is usually very good against a team like this. So the Melodic choice pretty solid here. Um, I think I'm just going to lead Finny Zapdos. So if he leads the Melodic, I can threaten it with Zapdos. Uh, let's see here. If he leads the Sand Mode, that would be annoying. I need Landorus. And probably Kangaskhan in the back. Yeah, let's just go with that. So we're locked in, and we'll see what my opponent chooses to do. I'm afraid of him leading the Tyranitar Excadrill. It's because he can get like a double Rock Slide off onto Zapdos and prevent us from Tailwinding. So hopefully he leads the Melodic here. That would be, or even the Salamence. That would be, if he could lead one of those, that would be pretty good too. All right, so Pun's locked in. Um, turn one. I'm going with this lead because it's it's kind of flexible. It's bulky, even though it's slower and can be passive. But just want to see. I'm just afraid of that melodic more than anything. Slanders is so good in this matchup, so I really want to pressure it. Okay, he does leave melodic and Moongus, So there's the melodic. She can rage powder here. Should be annoying. Uh, probably want to pre preserve the Finny. Moongus has a really good matchup against Finny here. Let's, uh, the Misty Seed. I think what we want to do is switch Finny into Kang and just Hidden Power Ice the Amoongus. Let's try and get this thing in range. Give some damage. Uh, I guess he can also Spore after this. That would be really annoying. I'm going to Thunderbolt Melodic just in case he goes for Spore. Kangaskhan comes in, and Malak protects, so he's going for Spore. So I probably should win for the HP Ice, but that's... It's okay, we'll fake out the Melodic to burn a sleep turn here. I can also just double-edge it. Because he can't... He can't Spore the Kangaskhan, which is really good. But he might just Rage Powder. Hmm... Could he switch into? Could switch Amoongus out. Uh, probably into Salamence. That makes sense too. All right, let's Mega Evolve. Let's just fake out the Melodic, just so it can't do anything. And I'll burn a turn of sleep here. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so he does withdraw the Amoongus, and it's Tyranitar. We can. It's probably Scarf Tar, but we can low kick it. So he probably goes for something like a, a low kick or superpower of his own, so I might switch into Feeny next turn. So we're going to fake out the Melodic. Okay, get some chip damage. Uh, what do we do here? I don't want to switch in Landorus. I could switch out Melodic here, if it would be smart. Yeah, I really need Zapdos to wake up. And this should be Scarf Detar. I'm gonna switch into Feeny. Preparing the superpower. Mm, I'm gonna go for another Tailwind. Let's do that. Let's see how this goes. Come on, Zapdos, wake up, wake up. 
If he can wake up and get a Tailwind off, that'd be huge. And especially if the Trine Charles walks into the superpower. If, yep, he does switch out into Excadrill. So if we can get this Tailwind off, that would be really good. Oh, he's not even Scarf, he's Protect. Okay. We might have the weakness policy. I mean, Zapdos stays asleep, which is unfortunate. So that's two turns of sleep. Going for Zapdos. Um. Oh man, I, switch, I could switch into Lando. How many turns of train do I have? Oh man, I don't want to proc a weakness policy in this Tyranitar. Let's. We're gonna switch out Zapdos. Okay, we're going to. Oh, I do not want to proc a. Alright, I'm gonna Muddy Water, switch into Landorus. Hope he doesn't. Okay, let's hope he doesn't switch like Tyranitar into Melodic. If he does, he just played as good. So we reveal our fourth Mon. So now he knows we have the Landorus, so he'll want to keep Melodic around. Oh no, I guess it's good thing he didn't switch out Excadrill. And he protects Excadrill. This is probably weakness policy. I don't know what this QR team is, but... If he flinches me and he's weakness policy, I'd be okay with that. Okay. Awesome. No. I'm not too worried. Um, I think I just go for a Muddy Water, and hmm, I can Tech Rage, I think I would want, oh, I need back, I want to Tech Rage the, I'm going to Tech Rage Tyranitar. Let's see, he might protect it. He switches it, so whatever's coming in is taking a ton of damage from this attack, from this tech rage, which is kind of why I want to go for the Tyranitar. Even though the, the Excadrill protected, I can at least... Okay, so he's going to tech rage R. I think Feeny should live this, because he's at minus one. This Feeny lives a uh, adamant tech rage from neutral. So if he's minus one Excadrill, like, we should survive this and hit the berry, and then we'll tech rage the Amoongus, get a muddy water off. Probably won't knock out the exit drill. Oh, he, oh, he crit. That's oh, that's unfortunate. I think we live that if he doesn't crit. All right, well, shoot. All right, we'll have to bring in Kangaskhan. He at least he, he burnt his Z move. I could have protected Feeny there. That might have been better. I was kind of worried about that tech rage. So we'll get a lot of damage on the Moongus. Hopefully, it's not a berry. But getting rid of the Moongus would be. Super be awesome just so we can hit that melodic. Alright, so he lives. Don't have a berry. Alright, cool. No berry. Gotta bring in King's Con. I can't let Zapdos take any more damage. Hmm. Rock side might take it. Should Rock the Samungus looks like it's really bulky on the physical side. So I'd given well I'm not actually I'm not fully invested, so probably what protects Excadrill. How many turns of sand are left? This is the last turn of sand. Probably switches out Excadrill. Let's oh shoot. I kinda of wanna make a call here. I think he switches out. He probably switches into Trinitar. No, he wouldn't switch into Trinitar. Alright, let's fake out Amoongus. And just rock slide. Probably Rocky Helmet though. Oh, he switched. Oh, he switched. I mean, gets the regenerator health. Uh, does he protect? He protects. Awesome. So we get the chip damage and it's rock slide. But now he won't have any sand turns. So the extra drill probably switches out next turn into Tyranitar. Probably just out of range of a berry. I feel like I should knock it out. Hmm. But Titar slower, so I don't really care if that comes in. It's double edge, melodic. I 
want to switch into Zapdos. I'm going to have to hope we wake up. So he's going to switch Escadrill into Tyranitar here. And he might protect Melodic, but we'll be faster than Tyranitar next turn. I'm not going to let Escadrill sit here and take, you know, an Earthquake or something. Alright, Lander switches out. Going to Zapdos. Yeah, I'm going to need to wake up this next turn, though. Oh, you such a melodic to a Moongus. Okay. Oh, this is not regenerator or Moongus. Interesting. So we'll kill the Moongus. It's effects for and poisons us. All right, that's and there's the rocking helmet. That's that's kind of annoying. So what's this gonna go for? Earthquake, drill run, Iron Head into awesome the lander slot. So now if we can, he brings in, now, uh, I guess now he can bring in Tyranitar though, with that free switch. And he can just go for a rock slide. See, so Lando can beat the Tyranitar. Hmm. It's getting tough, I gotta start making my moves back, take my turns faster. Need to get a Tailwind off here. I think we want to. I think we're gonna low kick this Tyranitar. Just take it out and Tailwind. All right, Zapdos. I need you to wake up and not get flinched. If he switches Tyranitar out into Melodic, that would be annoying. Oh, he switches that into Melodic. All right, so we're gonna knock out on the Tyranitar most likely. And if we can wake up and get a Tailwind off, that'd be huge. Yep, okay, Tyranitar goes down. He might have, he might have tried thinking we were going to switch in Landers there, because we did that earlier. Yes, and we wake up and get the Tailwind, so we can outspeed the Exedrill now. Perfect. Okay, uh... Well, depending on the Exedrill's investment. But King is Khan will outspeed the Exedrill. Uh, no Berry... Okay, no Berry on the Melodic, that's good. I don't want him to recover this turn either. I think what I want to do is double. Yeah, we're gonna. Okay, so we're gonna double edge the melodic. Double edge melodic. Could roost here. I'm leaning. I'm kind of leaning towards roosting. Let's do that. And then if you rock slides, that goes. I think that dose is faster. All right, so we'll kill the melodic. Awesome. And I think Landris should be able to just beat the Exodrill one on one. And then land. Are we faster with Zapdos? Okay, so he's a he's a he's a really fast Exodrill. If Zapdos doesn't flinch here. Okay, awesome. We roost. I think we have this game. And yep, because King's Con should go down to poison and sand, if not, you know, if not from one of them. Yep, King's Con goes down. Landers will come and get the Intimidate off, and then we can just Earthquake Hidden Power Ice. And he's gonna need some flinches in order to. Keep himself in this. Uh, how many turns of sand? Might be able to stall all sand turns too. Alright, so he's got three turns. I'm inclined to protect Roost. Uh, that's too risky. It'll just Earthquake. Hidden Power Ice. Uh, yeah, Hidden Power Ice. Just get some damage. Okay, so he Iron Head. Oh, he Iron Head, so I could have protected. He gets a plane, no flinch, so that should be game. Fully expect this to pick up since this is a faster Excadrill. And yeah, good game to our opponent. That was really well played, I think. That turn he switched the Excadrill out in the melodic, that was not what I expected. We got that we got that free KO on the I mean I guess it cleared the intimidate on the Excadrill, gave him the free switch into Excadrill. But yeah, so. Well anyways, good game to our opponent. Um that seemed to went really well. I had the wrong Landris because I had U-turn still, as you can see. But, eh, that's alright. We didn't really need it in that matchup. So I just want to save that. And cool. So I'll just do that one battle just, just as a test. Um, maybe I'll upload this. I'm not sure yet. Just saying he has a bonus battle for you guys with the team. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. And see you on Monday with a brand new team.